Those for and against a proposal to make marijuana legal for medical patients are sounding off at the state capitol. If passed, this plan calls for creating a registry for patients given a doctor's recommendation and compassion centers for them to legally obtain this drug. It is an issue being discussed among students at the University of Wisconsin Medical School. Joining us to talk about this is Gene Lee and Ben Eppinger. Thank you so much for being Thanks with for us, guys. Us. We've got a, a kind of a point counterpoint yes. issue here. One of you is, is for this and one is against. Let's first talk about um, maybe the, the reasons why we, why we would want to have this as a society. Um, ben, maybe you can talk a little bit about some of the therapeutic uses sure. and, and why this would be a good thing. Sure. Um, medical marijuana is e extremely effective uh, in treating uh, the pain, uh, nausea, vomiting, the symptoms that come along with some of the worst diseases that uh, mm -hmm. affect mankind. Um, including HIV, cancer patients going through uh, chemotherapy, uh, and the like. Um, and I think as a compassionate society, um, the right thing to do would uh, to provide physicians and patients with medical marijuana um, to treat these symptoms. And Jean, you have a, an opposing view mm -hmm. of this. And you know, other opponents, they believe that there are other options for taking care of this pain for these types of cancer patients and things like that. What, what do you believe? Um, I believe that uh, medical marijuana, um, that it really doesn't exist. What we have here instead is um, understudied illegal narcotics and there's insufficient data as it stands now um, um, to, to change that. And my stance is really no different from that of the um, American Medical Association and American College of Physicians where they strongly urge um, that there be FDA approved um, large scale bona fide um, research be done mm -hmm. to um, reconsider um, to reclassify it, because right now it's um, Schedule One drug, meaning um, physicians cannot prescribe it. And until that new set of data comes in, there's a lot of um, anecdotal evidence mm -hmm. um, that it works, but I think we need good scientific data if we want this to be prescribed um, as, um, as a drug. But what is it that you would like to, to um, mm -hmm. see happen? Because we hear so many people saying, you know, this is really what gets me through the day. I'm, I'm fighting cancer right now. It at least, if nothing else, it makes them not feel the pain. Right. What, what if, about that is wrong? Um, I, I think um, it, it's for all the other drugs that, um, that a, as a physician you'd prescribe, they've gone through rigorous um, research. And I don't think we should make an exception for this drug. And we have um, armament of um, pain drugs that we could prescribe instead. In fact, we have um, something called Marinol, which is um, the, the, the psychoactive component of the marijuana, which is um, FDA approved, and we can prescribe those. And until more research comes in and it shows that it works and it's safe, then we should um, use alternative um, and you mentioned one of those alternatives. There are other alternatives out there. Ben, why aren't those alternatives good enough? Um, well, we can talk about Marinol specifically. Mm -hmm. um, that is THC, which is um, kind of the big name active ingredient in marijuana. Um, but marijuana also contains another, uh, a number of other chemicals uh, and uh, compounds that have the, the anti-nausea effects, mm -hmm. the um, anti-pain effects. Um, and so people have found that when they just take the Marinol, they're not, they don't get the same uh, systemic uh, full body effect that they do when they uh, use marijuana. But that it's the, not, it's, it's just not, not as that. good. It's not, it's, it's more than just that one piece. It's then. more than just the THC. It's more than just the boiled down product. It's a number of these other chemicals in it. How, how close are we? I mean, we, we're, there are 18 states right now that, that have, have passed this law. Mm -hmm. are, we, are we close to seeing this happen in Wisconsin? And maybe I can ask both of you that question. We'll start sure. with you, Ben. Are we sure. close to this? Or? I, I think um, public opinion is incredibly in favor of supporting medical marijuana. Uh, a recent study from 2010 uh, showed 81% of the country is in favor of legalizing medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. um, I would agree with, with uh, Gene that the best thing that we could do is, is have the federal government come in and uh, have some large scale trials. But it just seems like there's such a gridlock that uh, states are kind of doing it uh, piece by piece. And so I think Wisconsin is, it will soon uh, follow suit to do the right thing, the compassionate thing for our citizens. Do you, do you agree with that, Gene? Do you think Wisconsin will be soon a part of these other states? Um, I, I think there is a strong public support, um, and it may pass or it may not pass. I couldn't speak to that, but I do believe it should be the science that drives the decision, not, um, you know, okay. so much what the public 
All right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's certainly um, a, an issue that a lot of people here in the Madison area care deeply about. We've done lots of stories on it. So, yeah. all right. Guys, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks we'll be for right having back. us. All right.